For Nevin, um, my station had that radiothon yesterday. You were on with, with Jay Lynn. Can you just tell me about uh, your, your visit to the, the Stollery? Oh, it was nice. It was good to, uh, I said this yesterday, kind of good to give back, uh, put some smile on kids' faces. Uh, do that stuff, so, um, you know, you really feel good about yourself doing it. You know, the community gives uh, so much to us, and to give back is huge. When you see some of the kids and the parents, what are their reactions like? What are some of the things they say to you? Uh, some of them are in shock, right? It's kind of a little bit of a surprise for both. That sometimes, you know, the parents are a little more excited than the, uh, than the kids. But um, like I said, just to see uh, the smile is, uh, is awesome. Obviously, you guys had the relationship with, with Ben, and you've met other families and kids that are going through stuff. Uh, I, I know you're still a younger guy yourself, but does it sort of you know, resonate that some of the challenges other people are, are facing? Yeah, definitely. Um, kind of shows that there's a lot more you know, to the world than just hockey. You know, there's um, people who are struggling and uh, you know, don't really get to uh, you know, do what they enjoy doing. So for us to be able to uh, you know, kind of give them a glimpse of happiness or uh, see them smile is... Uh, it's awesome. And, uh, to the hockey now. Obviously, with the schedule, you know, if, yeah. if you see that big break when it comes out, in the, and you kind of know this is always going to be a de demarcation point. Uh, did, you, did you treat it like that? Was like, okay, we, you know, we really want to be going in, going well, have a good record, well positioned in the standings, all that stuff. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, you want to uh, kind of set goals for your team leading up to this break. Um, you want to set yourself into a good position heading into that break and coming out of the break. Um, but we know what's ahead of us. We know uh, our you know, teams in our division keep winning, so we got to keep winning ourselves. And uh, as long as we take care of our game, I think we'll be okay. You're part of a, a young trio on the back end that's contributing with some pretty great minutes for Woodcroft right now. What can you say about the play of Broberg and DeHarnay so far in their early tenure? Yeah, they've been great. Um, you know, Vinny coming up, doing what he does. He's a, a big presence. Hard to get around him. Um, you know, he's a force out there. And for uh, Philip, his skiing abilities, his smarts is uh, definitely special and it makes it uh, really easy to play with. Is Seaweed Man the worst nickname in hockey? It's got to be. I saw that on Twitter and I couldn't believe it. So, uh, yeah, I, I don't know if that one's sticking or not, but we'll see. Nobody here calls him Seaweed? No, I don't think so. I think we're staying away from that we're one. From yeah. That. It's so bad even the players aren't touching it. But uh, do you like the the symbolism of, of that nickname because he makes it so hard to get in front of the net. Yeah, that's a strength of his, you know, especially for someone that size and, you know, that has that much of a presence on the ice. It's, uh, you know, tough to get to the net. And I think it uh, kind of shows what his game's about, playing hard and physical, but, uh, you know, just being a steady man back there.